This building behind me has been used as a French language school and a Greek social club. Wait, I thought this video was about public washrooms. What am I even doing here? This is an automated public pay toilet installed in 2010. It's a rarity in Toronto. Normally, if you're out and about and you need to use the toilet, you have to ask at a private business like a coffee shop or a gas station, or maybe you use a toilet in a public park or a municipal building. But this one is a standalone, and there are very few of these in Toronto, even though the city actually started installing standalone public toilets in the late 1800s. Let's go to the location of the first one. I'm on Toronto Street at Adelaide. In 1885 or 1896 or 1897, depending upon which source you read, Toronto's first public convenience was installed here. Well, not here. There, in the middle of the street. Seriously. Why in the middle of the street? Well, property owners didn't want it right next to their building, fearing it might be smelly or unsanitary or attract undesirables. And the farthest point from anybody's property is the middle of the street. Here's a photo of the inside. It had four urinals, three stalls, a sink, and an attendant to provide soap and towels or to shine your boots for a few cents. It was for men only. They weren't really concerned about uh, gender equality back then. In 1908, it was renovated. The circular building and the circular staircase were removed and replaced with a staircase going straight down with rails on either side. The lamppost did double duty as a ventilation shaft. Now, that's enough about number one. Let's go look at number two. No, not that kind of number two. The second underground public washroom in Toronto. Around 1905, another one was built here at Queen and Spadina. It was in the middle of the street, roughly where the streetcar tracks are today. As you can see from the photo, it looked a lot like the rebuilt one at Toronto Street, just stairs down surrounded by a railing. Also, it was for men only. It proved very popular, being used over half a million times a year. In the next decade or so, additional underground labs were built on Queen Street near Parliament and Broadview. There was supposed to have been one here too, at College in Spadina, but a local church was strongly opposed and they fought against it tooth and nail for about a decade until the city finally gave up. Funny thing about these public washrooms, politicians promised them to constituents who wanted the comfort of knowing that they had somewhere to answer nature's call if, for instance, they were uh, waiting for a transit connection. But nobody wanted one near their home or their business. NIMBYism is nothing new. The city also built above ground washrooms. This one was near here in the Young and Shaftesbury area. Built around 1905, it was also for men only. Although in 1908, an addition was added for women after women quite correctly pointed out that they too need to relieve themselves from time to time. In 1921, the city passed a bylaw requiring all gas stations to have public washrooms. Think about how many gas stations there are scattered around the city. And if you've lived here for a while, think about how many more there were even just a couple of decades ago. So that was an easy way for the city to get out of the public washroom business make private businesses do it, and on their own dime too. So when the city's washrooms needed costly maintenance, the solution was easy, just close them. So over the decades, they gradually disappeared. The one at Queen and Spadina, for instance, was closed in 1939. The one at Queen and Broadview hung on until 1981. One thing I'm curious is what happened to the underground facilities, like the one here, on Broadview, just south of Queen. I've seen references to them being filled in, but nothing that definitively says whether they demolished everything and removed it and filled the big hole with dirt, or if they just kind of left them intact and filled it in with dirt. If you happen to know, or even better, if you have a good source you can quote, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. And that brings us back to the rhetorical question that opened this video. This building was constructed as a public washroom and opened in 1921. Perhaps surprisingly, it continued to fulfill that purpose until 1987, 
three years after it received heritage designation. At that time, only about 30 people a day were using it at a cost of several dollars per use. And no matter how badly you need to go, you have to admit that seems expensive. And so, this was the last of Toronto's old public conveniences to close. It's, and it's the only of one of nine 1920s public washroom buildings that still exists today. Incidentally, if you want to visit the sinks from this, apparently they're installed at the Blue Barracks at Fort York. And there you have it, the strange trip through the history of Toronto's public washrooms. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Please like and subscribe.